Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Alright, so the way I want to start the episode today is we're going to be working on uh, both liquid DNA and propolis at the same time. I'm going to try to be as efficient as possible. I've made this stuff in advance and I put it here. Uh, so by episodes you're going to be able to see what the next episode is going to be about. Uh, most likely by seeing that the next episode is going to be the advanced carpenter. <laughs> a little teaser. But today we're going to be working on liquid DNA and propolis. So I already have an idea of what I want to do. I have not tested it. So uh, hopefully all will go well. Uh, I want to go to the end for this. Because with us at this stage of the game, it no longer matters what dimension we build in because we have ender tanks, we have uh, ender chests, we have all of the good stuff. And okay, now that I got, I saw it blinked for a second that the Ender Dragon was here. I saw a life bar. Okay, good. <laughs> I thought I, for some weird reason that because my uh, achievements were reset, I was worried that the Ender Dragon was reset. <laughs> that would have been scary. I would have had to avoid him because I wasn't planning on doing anything with the Ender Dragon today. What is weird? Okay, going south. So let's... I want to also explore at the same time. So let's go uh, west this time. So we'll go out a little bit and it'll look a little bit disorienting and boring because when you're looking just at the screen all you see is the purple. It doesn't look like you're moving, but uh, I'm judging by the radar that we are moving forward. We just need to hit land. And I wanted to pick a good spot where there's a lot of chorus fruit, and uh, I was going to build my apiary there. So we just need to head out a little bit until we find land. There's some chorus fruit already, so this looks nice. And there's also a... Uh, Conveniently already, oh no, that's celestial crystal, that's something else. Oh, but yeah, conveniently this is what I'm also looking for, is an ender hive, because I want to use the ender bees for this. So let's see, anywhere around here would be good. So I'm going to start building right here. Uh, we need, of course... Uh, we, I just noticed that my silk touch pick is not in my inventory, so I'm worried I accidentally tossed it into the immersive engineering ender, ender chest. And I don't think Tinker's tools can be re repurposed in the arc furnace, but that was a while ago the last time I touched it, so hopefully it's not gone. Let me see if it's in here. No. I'll have to find it later. So I'll use the uh, fortune pick for right now. And I'm looking at Twitch chat and I see Coots with us today again. Coots, how are you? I'm having a pretty good day. I'm glad I'm finally home from work. I'm gonna make one hole and the first thing to start this build is I'm going to take the item interface from Actually Additions and that I'm going to put at the bottom. And I'm already going to be working, uh, I've done this build in Continuum, actually, um, to breed bees. Because Continuum, even though a lot of people say they did not like Continuum, it did have career bees, which was pretty sweet. You could make bees produce any of the materials that are required in the mod pack. So that was actually pretty exciting. So we have an item interface from Actually Editions. What it does is it just sorts items. You put a hopper on top of that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the apiary on top of that. Like that. So this, normally I would do uh, a the build that I was using in Continuum. You use a slightly larger chest. That way uh, when you place make these 10 of them in a row and you put the chest on top, it won't 
connect. The, the chests won't connect. The slightly larger chests, they won't connect. But anything other than a normal chest will work. Then to distribute the items, I made item lasers which are uh, the energy lasers and you shoot them with the atomic reconstructor. We need one in the item interface, we need one in the apiary. And then normally I would attach a third one to the chest, but I want to see if I can transfer the items directly from the item interface to the two machines that we're going to be using today. So that's going to be my test on this. So let me move this out of the way. One place we need the drones to go is to the uh, to the DNA extractor and that is what's going to give us the liquid DNA that we need. So I'm going to put that guy right here. The other item that we need is going to be the propolis that also comes from Enderbees. That is going to go into a centrifugal separator and then uh, just because I'm bougie I brought an upgrade kit, resident conversion kit, and the, let's see, configuration. Uh, we have augment slots. I'll put four of the speed processors in there. Cool. So one's gonna have liquid. So that's one thing that I forgot to bring with me was the color to dye the ender tanks. So I'll put the ender tanks both next to each other. And then let's see, this is going to be a purple fluid pink fluid it's pink so let's see do I have magenta dye I do not can I make magenta dye real quick I got purple I have a lot of purple so yeah I can always change the colors later I don't need 58 geez okay so let's do six I like doing solid colors so we'll do purple 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 and then purple, purple, purple. Cool. So those two are linked now, and I don't need to diamond lock them because I'm on this uh, server by myself with Trin, and I trust her. And then, so we have a fluid coming out one side, and we have an item coming out the other side. So I'll do an item chest for that, and that'll go into our item pouch, which I can check out from time to time to make sure that the system is running. I can do it from my person instead of just relying on it to make sure that it's it's working. I have two more item lasers and this is the part that I'm going to experiment with. We're gonna put one here and we're gonna put one here. Awesome and then I also need the compass to set it. I need labware and I need a scoop and a bee smoker and I, if I would have prepared a little bit better at the beginning of the series I should have not been so anti bees I could have bred a couple of regular bees and uh, gotten the regular honeycombs or propolis or whatever it is because those can be run through the centrifuge to make the string that makes the apiarist arm armor and if I was wearing that then the, the ender bees won't stab me but ender bees are highly aggressive they're going to attack me. So one thing that the DNA extractor needs of course is power and it needs these genetics labs where as well it needs it in there and I believe every time it does a process there's a 10% chance that it'll use one of the genetics labware and then the dur the, it'll go down by one uh, so we need power I don't think I put the power plugs in here oh I don't so good thing we have the infinity booster I need two points one and two and then let's give these two uh, two guys power one here one here this one needs to be set to our network. Cool. So now both of these bad boys are getting power. Excellent. And now let's use... Oh, I didn't make a laser wrench. That's another thing that I forgot. I need a laser wrench. Wrench. This guy. Laser wrench. Oh, did I misspell it? Weird. Laser wrench needs two Inori crystals and an advanced coil. Good thing I have those already. I stockpile things in hundreds and sometimes in thousands. I'm glad I was prepared for that. So we need to right click that, connect it to this, and then connect this guy to both of these guys. 
And then this is the super important part. You take your compass. Compass is used to configure the lasers. The important part is with right clicking this, you have to set the priority higher. You have to set the priority so the ender bees will, a princess and a drone will form a queen and then they'll make items but then they'll split again into a princess and another drone or multiple drones and we're hoping that it's going to produce more drones as long as they don't have a uh, modifier of uh, of creating only one drone I can't remember it off the top of my head it's one of the modifiers let me see uh, DNA template there we go it is fertility the fertility stat you see this one that I'm checking out has a fertility of three that means whenever it splits it has uh, a fertility of three I believe that means three drones pop out and then it only uses one of the three to form another queen but if ender bees are fertility one then they're always going to split I didn't think about that but I'm hoping that uh, that this setup will work I would love to use only one bee to get both the liquid DNA and the uh, propolis that we need so yeah like the it'll split the all of the items all of the bee drops the princess and all of the drones will go into the item interface then priority one it'll go here first and it will fill in all the slots that it possibly can fill whoop that it possibly can fill which in this case will be a princess and a drone and then all of the extra items will then go to the lower priority one the drones will go here because uh, i don't believe that the uh the cocoons can be sent into dna extractor i might be wrong and if i'm wrong then it will set up ender conduits and we'll do filters that's why i have those with me so the drones will hopefully only be able to come in here and then the cocoons will only be able to come in here which the cocoons will then be processed into uh, the propolis that we need and the bees will be processed into the uh, DNA that we need so the next step that I have is I have a scoop this is what we need to break the uh, hives and we have a smoker so that the bees are calmed down while we uh, break down their hive if we pick out this guy right here the ender hive if I just start left clicking and beating and, and knocking it down I can probably take it down but it will damage me while I'm in taking it down so if you have a smoker you hold down right click until you hear a puff you have to listen for it there we go I heard the puff now you can break it down without them hurting you so now we have the bees ender pr princess we got lucky on our first drop with bees when you break a hive the princess can either be pristine or it can be ignoble ignoble means if you breed them when they breed the ender princess will breed with the drone it will turn into an ender queen if it's ignoble when it completes its lifespan lifespan and it splits ignoble ones have a chance to die then you lose your princess pristine however pristine will always generate another princess they're immortal for lack of a better word ignobles have a chance to die which will interrupt what i'm trying to do pristine will keep going so this is the part that i'm going to work on because i know they're going to attack me they're going to be very mad that i'm nearby so the ender princess and the drone they're both going to go in and uh, then when they split the items hopefully will go into the opposites uh, I can I already have one mysterious comb from breaking that this is what we're going to do it's going to turn into pulsating propolis so now I need a uh, an item transfer of course I'm gonna put it underneath so I can make it look pretty also I can use this end stone <laughs> So let's, what am I doing? Item. I keep forgetting, I still haven't gotten used to having this, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're right, this system 
Uh, all, all of my conduits, I keep wanting to go into my diamond backpack, which used to have all of my gear, all of my conduits, all of my tools, everything. Uh, now, um, I just need to open up my ME system. And then this is something that kind of bugs me. I know it's going to arc, arc a lot of you guys. Uh, I've tried using the wrench, and I just haven't checked it out yet. I know you can use the wrench to access the bottom. Um, so extract and then insert. I have tried using the wrench. I've tried clicking around. I've tried scrolling with the wheel. Uh, I can't get it to work, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So it's a lot faster and a lot easier for me right now to just knock out one block and do it from underneath. So we're inserting always active, and we're extracting always active. Cool. I'm going to keep this end stone, which I don't need to throw into the ender pouch. I can just throw it right into the ME system like this. All right, so that guy should now configure to the bottom as an export. So there. And let's check our ME system. Pretty sure it's there. Was it Propolis, right? Pull say ting. See, it's weird. Like sometimes items won't show on JEI. Like same thing with the collector crystal. Collector won't show up. But if I search crystal, it shows up. Maybe if I do asterisk pro. Pull at pro no pull huh how do I find it once it's in my system um ludicrates we need oh no this is for the resonant cell frame I'm working ahead pulsating mesh pulsating propolis pulsating propolis at forestry Oh my god, I'm having the biggest derp. <laughs> I have it pouched in I have it piped into my ender pouch and I don't have slots for it yet. So yeah, of course it's going to be in my ender. It's going to be in the ender chest. I totally blanked out there for a second. I was assuming of course that would immediately go into but I haven't set it to go anywhere after. Okay, so there we go. We have that item. That is how we're going to be making that one. And then let's take this one with us and let's toss these guys in. Since they're here in the end, they should work. Yep, they're attacking me. They don't like me. They're aggressive bees. So what's great is since they were attacking me, that means they're up and running. Um, since they're up and running, that means the chorus fruit does work. Um, one thing that I can do is, let's see if time in a bottle works. Whoa, look at those bee swarms. Wow. <laughs> wow. Time in a bottle. I remember in Continuum, I worked so hard. I made a bee farm, 10 apiaries that were just cycling bees left and right. I was breeding them. I was removing traits off of them. I was making templates and then breeding bees with exactly the 13 chromosomes I wanted. I was making career bees that were making items uh, like plutonium was coming from bees, uh, gas tears from bees, all of the ores, everything was coming from bees. And uh, I actually removed the aggressive trait off of uh, all the bees that I was, I was uh, breeding. And one cool thing is uh, there is a temporal bee in uh, career bees, which speeds up time of everything that's in a certain radius of it. And uh, that's kind of like what time in a bottle is. That's just time in a bottle's handheld. That's what's cool, time in a bottle's handheld. Uh, the uh, temporal bees had to be in an industrial apiary, which, yeah, I know, I could have used an industrial apiary to do this, 
but then I would have had to make the templates, all of the modifiers inside uh, the industrial apiary. It's like a powered version of the apiary. And it's not gated behind anything. In Continuum, it was gated behind Royal Jelly. And uh, that only came from the final regular, I would say regular bee, the first ones that glow holographic. I believe they were Imperial Bees. Uh, they were gated behind Imperial Bees. So you had to manually uh, grow the bees first. So uh, I didn't start with Industrial. I started with these. And this was just easier for me to make. Let's see. Looks like it's working. Did any of the items move yet? Let's see. It's probably going to take a lot longer. Damn, these bees are shredding me. What's funny is in Continuum, I also had a bee called the Assassination Bee or the Assassin Bee. And I bred him because specifically what he would do is he would kill the queen in any hive that is nearby so then we had a bb gun and i would put the 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 bee inside the bb gun and shoot it and it would instantly finish any of the uh, hives that i had up and running <laughs> which was super silly if you think about it super duper silly you're shooting around and i had bee armor which was totally legit i loved it i looked like a bee and it had really good stats. It wasn't this junk that I'm used to. Uh, let's put this up. And since I need some uh, some liquid DNA for the, uh, for this episode, uh, let's throw some saplings in. The uh, the DNA extractor uh, can also take saplings. And they probably can't be vanilla saplings. They have to be... Let's see. Let's see if great wood works. I'm pretty sure they have to be forestry saplings. Come on. Nope, I need forestry saplings. So that's one thing that's kind of irking me is to show you that this works. Because I don't play for speed. I play for, for fun. Uh, let's go hunt some other, let's see, I think I have some food, just to tap myself off, yeah. I don't want to waste my, uh, my chimichangas just for that one little tag. So for fun, let's go kill some hives, get some drones, and then I can manually drop the drones in since I don't have any forestry saplings. Fly around. There's one. Right click. Puff. And there we go. Get some of these guys manually. And also while I'm here, let's mark this area. Waypoints. New. Bees. Save. And I'll leave it on for now. Oh, wow. Did I... I settled on another island. Whoops. I guess I didn't explore far enough. Maybe if I'm lucky I'll find a Chaos Dragon Island. Definitely can't take him on now. But it would be good for future episode because I know I need to kill him at least once so that I can get a Chaos Shard and then use that Chaos Shard in the scanner and I can replicate it and I can print it. I can print duplicates with uh, UU Matter. I'll do that. Right click, left click. Let's see. Looking for any ender hives, just to speed up the process. So I guarantee you, I'm going to leave this on overnight and at work and when I come back I'm gonna have all of the liquid DNA I need to progress but it's important for me to show y'all that this works all these endermen on a tiny island
part of me is secretly wishing to find a, a chaos dragon though but this show is this um series is not scripted other than me trying to prepare the episodes so that uh, I don't look like a fool but it is not scripted like I don't know that there's a chaos dragon around here but I did just see like three hives so let's grab these and head back the more the better we one more and I'll, I'll grab that other one that I saw right here good I didn't see any more <laughs> I love these colors though purple and black that's legit I wish I could change the color of the industrial apiary to that let's go teleport did I just aggro all of the endermans nope yes let me get my sword ready all of the endermans bye bye okay I wish there was a certain level or something where I could make them you know like in uh, MMOs I'm used to if enemies are uh, if you're way overpowered enemies will stop aggroing you I wish I could do that all right, so now, okay, pristine, pristine, oh, they're all pristine so far, pristine, 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 maybe that is a lot of pristine princesses, maybe ender bees have a higher chance of being pristine, maybe there are no ignoble, I don't know, this is my first time breaking a hive. So, propolis in here, and the bees are going to go in here, eight, so this is how it's going to work the extra drones as long as their uh their fertility is not one the extra drones will come in here and see it's filling it up with uh with liquid dna a hundred apiece this is annoying i will have the apiarist suit ready for next time but 10, 10 drones will make one uh, one bucket. At least I'm like, when I take damage, I'm also gaining experience. You see that on the left, the 13? I'm leveling up on my astral sorcery perks because you gain astral sorcery points with damage taken, so. No, it's terrible, I know. I'm trying to make it sound a little bit funnier than it actually is. But there you go. That is definitely, this is definitely a way, not the best way. Uh, if you want other ways to make it, there's other YouTubers that are obviously more popular and stuff. I also, I just wanted to show you all a different way as well. You can make it with industrial apiaries. You can copy the other YouTubers or you can do it like this. This works too. I will babysit this between episodes and in the future to make sure that the items are actually transferring between the two and not getting stuck. But uh, unless I unless something else happens that's wrong, I will uh, touch base on it. Of course, I always if I'm wrong about something, I will cover it. I'll go back and cover it. But uh, this is us making both propolis and liquid DNA from one source at the same time. And I'm um, future teaser. I'm also planning on uh, creating a laser base here so that I have like a little end base. I'll build around it to make it look pretty because I'm, I'm, I'm weird like that. But thank you so much for watching and tune in tomorrow.